hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching if you're new here my name is maria i do diys hauls reviews and more so if you love to craft and do budget friendly home decor i would love it if you subscribe and hit the bell button so you can get notified every time i upload in today's video i'm going to share how i turn some dollar tree items into some beautiful fall decor without being said i hope you guys enjoy this video and now let's craft For my first DIY, I will be using this box. This is from the Crafter Square section at Dollar Tree. I did use this in one of my previous DIYs. I only used the lid and I had the little box left over. So I'm going to use it for this DIY. I'm going to paint this using my Waverly Antique Wax. I am going to set this aside and let it dry. For the vase, I will be recycling this pasta sauce mason jar. I removed the paper and then I gave this two coats of the Waverly chalk paint in white. Once it was nice and dry, I decided to distress this using the Dollar Tree scent sheet. I will be making my own bouquet. I will be using some Dollar Tree sunflowers, some oak leaves, and from Walmart, I will be using some eucalyptus. I will be adding this burlap bow I made out of a Dollar Tree burlap ribbon, and I made it into a double bow using some Hobby Lobby Buffalo Check ribbon. And then I didn't glue it. I just use a string to tie it around and then I added my floral. The next thing I did was add the mason jar inside the box and look how pretty this turned out. It looks so high end and it was so easy and so inexpensive to make. For my second DIY, I will be using this Easter truck I got back in Easter. I decided to use that instead of the wooden one that I recently got from Dollar Tree. So you can use either one. The first thing I will be doing is removing the tags and I'm removing this happy Easter sign that it has at the bottom. The next thing I will be using is this buffalo check paper that I had. This is an extra piece that I used in one of my previous videos. This is from Hobby Lobby. I will be flipping the paper and the truck over so like that I can start tracing it. And I'm going to start by tracing the front of the truck first. Then I'm going to start to cut it out. I then put the paper on top and I kind of measure where the truck started and that is how I cut the back trunk. As you can see, the paper wasn't long enough to fit the whole truck. With an extra piece of paper, I will be doing the rest of the truck. So I'm putting it underneath and trace it and then cut it. 
the next thing I will be doing is drawing the tires and then cutting them out. Before I glue the paper, I do want to trim the eggs and I'm using my saw for this. I will be using my Elmer's glue stick to glue the paper. I wanted to cover the glitter that the tire has as well as the pink, so I did end up painting everything with my black acrylic paint. I am painting the back using the English Ivy Green. To add the details of the truck, I had to go back to my video and screenshot the picture of the truck so like that I can have it in front of me and I can add the details. I am drawing the lines with a pencil first and then I will go over them using my Waverly chalk paint in white. To decorate my truck, I will be using the little cute sunflowers that Dollar Tree is carrying. They have two different sizes. I will be using the small ones and I'm going to glue one on each tire. For the back, I will be gluing some random leaves that I had and I did remove the back so they can lay flat. I am also using these leaves. These come from a Michaels floral pick. They are like spikes or something like that. I did cut them in half so like that I can have more and I can just glue them here and there. Once I am done gluing everything, I will be gluing the bigger sunflowers inside the leaves. I then added some smaller ones. After adding the smaller ones, I felt like it needed something else. So I decided to add some berries and I just glued those here and there as well. The next thing I will be adding is this chalkboard tag that I got from Dollar Tree. I will be gluing it in the center. And to cover the hole, I will be adding a juicestring bow. I am using this paint marker that I got from Dollar Tree to write sunflowers and five cents. And you can leave it like that and just add some juicestring and hang it on your wall. But I decided to make a little stand for this and I'm going to use this incest stick holder that I got from Dollar Tree. It is normally a dollar but I got it on sale for 25 cents. In order for the truck to stand I am using two Jenga blocks and I am gluing one on each tire like that it can hold better. And that is it for this cute sunflower truck. I absolutely love how this turned out. It is actually my favorite one. For my third DIY, I will be using this Dollar Tree Mason jar. 
I will start off by removing the tag and I am not doing a lot to this because this is already beautiful. I love it. I love the picture it has. I just didn't like the orange letters so I am removing some glitter using a scent sheet. Then with my black acrylic paint I'm going to go over the words. To add more details to it, even though it already has a lot, I decided to add some of the little sunflowers. The last thing I will be adding is this beautiful bow I made out of the Dollar Tree Buffalo Check Ribbon and the Burlap. I also added some eucalyptus greenery on the sides and look how beautiful this turned out. And you can use it like that or if you want you can add the strings back and just hang it on your wall. For my fourth DIY I'm going to use this Dollar Tree Summer Decor sign. I'm going to use the back so I did remove the sticker and I'm going to give this one coat of the Waverly Antique. Oh my gosh I keep saying antique wax. The Waverly Chalk Paint in white. I am going to put this aside and let it dry and now I'm going to work on the pumpkin. I will be using one of the Dollar Tree wooden pumpkins. I will be using this beautiful sunflower paper. I got this from Hobby Lobby. It is 69 cents but I got it when they were four for a dollar. I'm going to put it on top of the pumpkin and start pressing it down so like that it can crease and make the shape. And like that it's going to be easier for me to cut it out. I'm going to repeat the same steps for the inside part and the other side. Before I glue them, I will be painting the pumpkin using the Waverly Antique Wax. Then I will be using my Elmer's glue stick to glue the papers. To blend the paper more with the pumpkin, I will be using the scent sheet and sending it around. I printed the word fall from the app Pick Collage and the font name is King Basil. I'm going to scribble the back and then put it on the sign so like that I can transfer the word. And this is how it looks. So now I'm going to go over them with my black acrylic paint. And then I'm going to add this bow I did using the Dollar Tree Burlap and the Hobby Lobby Buffalo Check. Then I'm going to glue the pumpkin to the white sign using hot glue. The last thing I did was just add some nautical rope so I can hang it to my wall. And this is how it turned out. I absolutely love how this looks. And that is it guys. I absolutely love how all this buffalo sunflower theme turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already and see you next time. Bye.